done getting ready to hang out with Liz and I finished doing a little photo shoot for the brand Ruby Love, which is kindly supporting and sponsoring today's video. Studio! <laughs> this is the outfit. It's random. Don't ask. I got this from the dollar store. It's actually um, a dog Halloween costume. <laughs> If you guys don't know what Ruby Love is, it is a period panties company. And I'm not gonna lie, you guys, for the longest time I have just been kind of skeptical about period panties. Um, my opinion in this video is not at all controlled by Ruby Love. This is 100% my thoughts and opinion on the brand. But I want to share a story with you guys and of course if you're interested in checking out Ruby Love they will be linked in the description box down below. These are the panties right here. When I first got them I honestly was surprised. It kind of reminded me a bit of a diaper. So it's kind of thick in areas but not consistently throughout while it is extremely breathable considering it is period panties and for the guys of you that watch my youtube channel i'm sorry you might want to step out for this part of the video or listen because it might be interesting for you but when i first put them on i thought "Ooh, this is kind of like a diaper but then i got used to it and it really doesn't feel too much like a diaper at all and i have worn them throughout on my first cycle while having them so I did wear them throughout my first cycle while owning them. And to be honest, I am I wish I had these sooner. And here is the story time that I'm going to share with you. If you guys remember my road trip vlog, there are some segments that didn't make it into the vlog, specifically early in the morning and right before going to bed. I never really filmed those scenes as it was more or less like being extremely tired or being extremely tired. <laughs> and... One thing that happened on the road trip on our very, very last day, the absolute last night we had to sleep in the car, I got my period a week early. A week early and I didn't know, so I was underprepared and I, I honestly wish to God I had something like these on hand because I woke up the last morning, okay? Immediately when I sat up, it was like, <sighs> open the floodgates <laughs> and if you girls know when that happens it happens like right when you sit up and it's just like you didn't even know you had your period and suddenly it's like full forced floodgates period and I didn't have anything and I'm sleeping in the back of a car on an air mattress I had nothing and it was three hours to the next town slash city, three hours of driving. So 5 a.m., I'm up, I, I hop into the driver's seat of the car, my boyfriend's still asleep in the back of the SUV on the air mattress, and three hours, I kid you not, I drove nonstop to the next city with full force period, got into the first Walmart I saw, and by that point, like, my my pants were ruined. Like, I was so upset, so upset. I run into the Walmart with a change of pants, a change of underwear. I'm in the bathroom, like, just, like, walk of shaming it, basically. Quite literally, walk of shame in Walmart, buy tampons. I kid you not, if I had something like these, it wouldn't have been a problem. I wouldn't have ruined my underwear. I wouldn't have had to panic drive three hours, kid you not, speeding, absolutely speeding, to get to any, any kind of town or city. Like, if, if I had these back then, it would have been amazing. So, so far, I have been using these at night while on my period, and I have had absolutely no issues when I wake up in the morning and you know, you know, you sit up, it hasn't been an issue, nothing leaks through, nothing gets through these. And I, like, I wish I had these sooner. I really do, I really do. Anyway, that is the story about my experience getting my period and not being able to control the situation whatsoever and how these ruby panties would have been 
an amazing thing to have then that I didn't have and so far I am in love with them and I wish I had them sooner. So if you guys enjoyed that story time or if you've had a similar experience with suddenly getting your period unexpectedly, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to know if you guys had such a horrible experience like me, it would be super curious. And of course, if you wanna check out Ruby Love, they will be in the description box down below for you guys. Hello everyone. I haven't vlogged much recently because I just keep forgetting about it. My mind's all over the place, but I want to vlog this. I bought this Korean soup pot that you can use on the stove a while ago. Pardon the automatic makeup filter, I don't know how to turn it off. But, um, I bought this a while ago and I was trying to think of what I could have for dinner because I'm cooking rice in my amazing Kaku rice cooker right over there. And I was like, what can I eat with all this rice? And then I was putting dishes away and I saw this pot and I was like, oh my god, maybe I'll just make some random Korean inspired soup. And then I remembered <laughs> I have this bulgogi sauce and you guys know me well maybe you don't know this but I love bulgogi bulgogi which is the bulgogi soup version like it's bulgogi but in soup form my favorite like way better than regular bulgogi so that's what I'm gonna try to do this is how it looks so far pardon my messy counter like for the life I'm like literally I wash this every single day and I wake up in the morning and there's like hair there's lint all over it I swear if Lynn probably walks on it at night only but anyway I got like maybe an eighth of the soup bowl filled with bulgogi sauce then i added half a cup of water i have my enoki mushrooms and then i'm going to add some carrot some sliced carrot and then i have this high quality beef that's been in the freezer since the beginning of the summer to be the bulgogi even though it's not thinly sliced enough it will still add the beef and the flavor and i guess i don't have glass noodles so I'll probably use like soba noodles maybe for the base, I don't know, uh, and a little bit of sesame oil. But this probably already has all that flavoring in there because it's like, it's bulgogi marinated. So I'm just gonna like boil that and um, hopefully it tastes like bulgogi bulgogi. The truth is I've never done this before. This is my first time, so no recipe included. I'm just literally showing you guys what I'm randomly doing without looking up a recipe and hoping it tastes similar. if you guys remember but i've always said i am tired of moving every single year but here i am <laughs> i'm moving we are moving where i don't know we don't know yet but it just happened we called the landlord or my my honey boy called the landlord and yeah in one month we're moving uh, basically, I don't know if I've said this in the vlog yet or not, but my boyfriend came to me with the idea like earlier in the week that why don't we just move and live somewhere for like six months or a year, however long it may be, however short it may be. And I was like, yeah, sweet. <laughs> so he originally said Japan, but of course with COVID and restrictions, we don't, we don't even know yet if that's even allowed for Canadians right now or if it will be in a month. Um, so we don't know. It could be Croatia, it could be Japan, it could be somewhere else. We don't really know. But what we did know after several days of thinking about it is that it's not something we can wait on because of all the restrictions, because of all the factors that come into play, especially because we, of course, are going to bring our cat no matter where we go. And that is one of the biggest hurdles because coming from Canada, there's a ton of restrictions when it comes to rabies because Canada is one of the remaining countries with rabies in it. So we have to get him a bunch of shots, a bunch of like length of times of wait, testing, paperwork and stuff, which can take like one month. It could take more depending on what country that we go to. So yeah, I don't know where we're gonna end up. I'm of course hoping for Japan, but who knows? But what I do know is that we have to move so that when we are able to pull the trigger on something we won't have a one month waiting period just because we have this place right so the best thing and action to take was to just 
call it on this place even though we love it so much and it's a little bit heartbreaking but we were already contemplating potentially moving anyway because we both work from home for the foreseeable future and it is a little small for two people working from home especially anticipating the winter season and a potential second lockdown due to the winter season which seems to have happened in other countries that are in the opposite hemisphere so yeah it's a little sad to say goodbye to this place but it is extending the adventure no matter where it made me who knows we might not even be able to go anywhere and end up just renting a different place elsewhere but at last this is uh this is what's happening so i don't know what else to say from that other than just the first moves are in so I guess this is going to be a continuation journey from this point on of what's happening next. Hey guys, so today is the first I guess hurdle of moving so we're at my boyfriend's parents house for the temp first temporary haul of bringing our stuff over we're planning to do it just kind of in like every weekend we rent a car and bring up like as much as we can fill in the car so basically for the most part it was like all my clothes which filled up the car our Christmas tree uh, a lot of the kitchen stuff that we don't use and that was pretty much it so basically all my clothing and stuff like that and then yesterday we started selling like furniture that we don't want to keep so we got rid of like a shoe rack um we're gonna be getting rid of our coffee table tonight and then like maybe a few other things but yeah it's kind of like the first hurdle and i think this is like the best way of doing it like renting a car every weekend so that it's like more of a casual move and not so much of like a so much of like a suddenly like you have one day or like two days to move your entire life somewhere else it'll be a little bit easier on me because i don't know if anyone remembers last august when we moved into our apartment i got super sick after because it was like a lot of work but yeah overall like i haven't really vlogged much since this whole like decision to move out into another country for like a little work from home vacation type thing started just because i've honestly been really overwhelmed with it all and like i think that's kind of showing in my energy like I am been I have been extremely exhausted since basically since this all started last week and um I was talking on my stream because I do um I do everyday streams on twitch morning is an evening so if you guys don't already know that you can check that out in the link in the bio if you want to ever chat and hang out with me live um but yeah so I was talking to my stream crew about that and some of you guys were saying it's emotional exhaustion or emotional fatigue and it's so accurate because I have no reason to be so like exhausted but I am so yeah, I haven't really been vlogging much but I I've just kind of been working on a side project that I started which I'm not really going to share too much in my vlogs or on my main social media channel Luckily is me doing like inspired cosplay photo shoots on patreon and uh yeah so if you ever want to check that out um, I'll insert the name of the Instagram and accounts that are associated with it because it is something that I don't want associated with like my vlogging channel and my influencer work just because it's kind of kind of very niche audience type stuff so I don't want to like scare away any potential collabs <laughs> yeah that's kind of what I've been working on all this week um, behind the scenes and it's been a lot of fun like it's actually been so much fun I've been loving it but it's been like a new thing that's kind of added to my exhaustion, but it's been really, really fun. So yeah, I guess I'll, I think the vlogs from here on out, like I said before, are kind of going to be mostly, mostly like the moving process and like choosing countries. I guess one update is that I did email the Japanese embassies, like all of them, <laughs> it's the Canadian one, the Japanese one, and the Japanese like government site. And they all got back to me last week like early last week saying Japan is closed for tourism purposes, even for Canadians, which surprised me because on the official government website, it says Canadians can enter Japan as long as they do like COVID test and 14 day quarantine. So it's a little bit misleading, but they did, the Japanese embassy told me to keep messaging because things can change really quickly and without like really notice. So it's not completely off the table. There still is hope, but there is a solid chance that we won't end up going to Japan just by the fact that like we plan to leave and be in another country 
a month to a month and a half from now. So that's kind of like I don't really expect anything to change that quickly, but you never know, right? So I've kind of given up on the idea of Japan, even though I know like I really want to go there, my boyfriend really wants to go there, and you guys really want me to go there, but like with COVID and like travel restrictions, it's not quite possible. So I think where we, I'm like 80% sure we'll probably end up in Greece, which I'm not bad about at all. It's stunning, it's beautiful. And I've started to like research and watch like travel vlogs of like Greece and it honestly looks so dreamy. And that is a country that we can go to right now. Um, their borders are open for tourism and like you can get visas and whatnot. So it's kind of like normal. There's a few COVID restrictions, but otherwise like it's normal. So that's probably where we'll end up, but we're still fingers crossed for Japan. So yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on that and tune back in on another day. Vlog updates. So pardon the look. I am just in a car because I had a photo shoot with Liz for a yogurt company. It was pretty random. But um, I didn't film it because it wouldn't be really professional to do that as it was like an actual like modeling for the company type thing which was interesting I've never I don't think I've actually mod um, it's been a long time actually since I modeled for like a legit company but yeah that was kind of it so now I'm just in a car I'm gonna head home been really scatterbrained lately so I haven't really filmed much vlogging so I just want to update you guys uh, moving wise I think last time I vlogged, I'm not too sure if I said this or not, but pretty pretty sure it's going to be Greece and we're not going to be able to go to Japan. Just been selling furniture, so a lot of our stuff, like our big ticket items, are out. All, almost all of my clothing is at my boyfriend's family's now. I think that's the last time I updated you guys. Since then, it's only been two days, but it's definitely 10 out of 10 stressful because I don't know if we're going to be, like out of our apartment by the end of September or if we're gonna have it for the rest of October that will be like the official end of our lease unless they can get someone in earlier so yeah I guess I'll like show you guys our apartment when I get home but nothing much has really been going on other than like just consistently trying to st sell stuff and then just being sleepy aside from like the photo shoot that I did today but I did stop in at Hudson's Bay because they were having a huge sale and I got a cute little like sweater dress type thing that's a little bit more of a sporty look so I'm excited about that and I did want to buy like the Fila's executor I think that's what they're called the platform shoes with like the extra high platform because my Fila's are my only sneakers I have right now and they are like worn out on the inside so they like rip my socks every time I wear them it's not very good but I couldn't find them anywhere so I might have to order them online Ugh. So I'm home from my photo shooting and everything and I'm really freaking annoyed. So back on to the whole uh, vlog of the whole moving process, like what's been included in it is a lot of buying and selling on Facebook Marketplace, which I mentioned in the car. I was a little bit out of it then, like I literally haven't eaten anything but breakfast today. It's like five o'clock. <laughs> but um, like one of the annoying things is like I, I, love Facebook marketplace I really love it until now like honestly for years I've been using Facebook marketplace ever since they came out with it it's been a lifesaver for all my traveling I've done whenever I've had to move or move overseas um, like it's always been great it's always been perfect good experiences until now and I don't know what's wrong with people being so flaky and I don't know if you guys have had good experiences or these bad experiences with fa Facebook marketplace but like I'd say so far out of the majority of transactions I've had trying to sell stuff I've had like like we've we only are selling like six items maybe like so far because we don't we're still maybe gonna be living here um, a little bit longer but and if the six items we're trying to sell, I've had three people completely flake out on me. And I've had one person block me. And I'm like, if you're not, if you change your mind and you're not going to purchase an item, just tell me. Just tell me, you know, like, I don't care. I don't care who you are. Like, if you don't want to buy it, tell me. Like, I've, I've woken up, like, early in the morning to prepare the furniture item and then the people just don't even show up and then I go to message them be like hey so when are you planning to come and I find out I've been blocked by them like what's wrong with people 
And then I've had people just like straight up, like two times after that, just not show up. And then I was going to buy something today from someone for um, like um, another project I'm doing. I don't really want to share it on my blogs and whatnot. Um, if you want to find out what it is, like if you're following my Twitter or my Twitch account, you can find out there, but it's not something I want aligned with this. But anyway, I was purchasing an item from someone and this girl, like I told her I would meet her at one o'clock and then like a little bit before one, I messaged her and I'm like, hey, I'm running a little bit late because of work because I was doing the photo shoot. Um, so I told her I'd be like a half hour late, no reply. And I'm like, well, I guess I'll just go there anyway. So it's a little bit far. So I had to rent a car, um, like a car sharing thing to get there, which cost me like $30. And I waited there. Like that's why I was in the car earlier. I waited there for 40 freaking minutes and this girl's just not replying to me. And I'm like, I'm like, hi, like I'm outside. I've been here for 30 minutes. Like what, you know, don't you? And then like, I, I just leave it. So I'm like, so I'm assuming this sale is void because I've been here for 40 minutes and you're not replying to me. So I'm going like, what is wrong with people? Like, has anyone else, like this is like the fourth time in a week this kind of stuff has happened to me. And like, I'm sorry if I'm venting on you guys a little bit, but like, what is wrong with people? Like, just tell me, like, I'm not a weirdo. Like, I'm literally like trying to give you money. Like, I'm coming to your place. Like, you shared with me your address. I know where you live. I'm coming to give you money for an item you don't want anymore. And you can't even respond to me. Like, I know where you live. Like, people are insane. And then just people not showing up to pick up items. Like, just, if you change your mind, just tell me so I can move on to the next person who's interested in the item. Like, it, I'm just, I've really had a hard week, you guys. So I'm so sorry to vent. Please let me know if you've experienced similar situations. Like I said, all, like for the past three years, I've been like an adamant user. Like I swear by Facebook Marketplace. It's just this one week I've had so many flakes, but um, you know, either way I've really had it. And then I had to like mail out um, some postage that I have to mail out. And I was waiting in line for 40 minutes because like people were just being really ridiculous at the head of the line. So everyone was really frustrated. So I've just really had it with like everything that's been going on. So I bought myself a bottle of wine and a four pack of ice cream sandwiches. And my boyfriend went out to get us katsuya, which is Japanese style donkatsu. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, moving has been not fun so far and it's only just begun. So I hope things get a little bit better. One last thing is that today, because I don't know what country we're going to end up in, and one thing I did know that is that, or that, one thing that I did learn is that with Greece, there's a lot, like they have public transit, but it's not like the best. So you might want to get a car if you're planning to stay long term in Greece for a little bit. And since we intend to move somewhere for a few months, um, we might not want to live like core of the city like Athens or wherever it may be. So a lot of YouTube videos were saying like it's good to get an international driver's license. So if you do end up in an area where public transit isn't friendly, you're not completely screwed. Um, so what I'm going to do today is fill out the paperwork for our international driver's license. And this is something that I wish I did before going to Japan and something I wish I knew before going to Japan and even Australia is that um, it's a lot cheaper to get your international driver's license in your home country rather than overseas. And that's why I never got it when I was living in Japan because it was way, way expensive and really difficult if you were already there. But honestly, like in Canada, if you wanna get your international driver's license, it's like $25 and all you have to do is like submit one, one sheet of paperwork and you're done. Another day, another spin. <laughs> I think one thing that I'm really gonna miss when we move from here is like the gym, even though we didn't have access to it for like six months out of this year due to obvious reasons. <laughs> it is something that I am going to really miss because like, I don't know, paying for a gym membership just doesn't really make sense for me because I don't like require a lot of stuff for like my goals. Yeah, oh well. 
I'm kind of curious where we're gonna end up when we do move back after traveling. Like, are we gonna end up back in this building or like that would be wild.